post that the shade room made, made it said that studies say men are at their loneliest as healthier relationship standards arise. Mm -hmm. And I went and I reviewed the the article and the research that that they used in the article they that they referenced in the article. So we're gonna walk through. We're gonna we're not gonna take a lot of time, but we're gonna walk through this article and really pull up some of the research that they reference in here. And the first one they referenced was the Psychology Today. Let, first of all, let's get into the lonely thing because that's the first thing in this article. And the study shown that most men are lonelier than women. But what people don't realize is they were talking to, that those findings were highlighting individualistic cultures, mm -hmm. meaning countries that were that are all about self-actualization and not the collective growth of everybody, which is mainly based in, in countries like the UK. Although loneliness for men is increasing, the same article that y'all told me I didn't read, it says for most racial and ethnic groups, Men are more likely than women to be unpartnered, to be single. The exception is among black adults, where women are 62% more likely to be unpartnered than men, which are at 55%. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't even talking about the black community. So the next thing that they talked about in the article is it says the reason why men are, are lonely is because of relationship standards. It says, with so many options, it's not surprising that women are increasingly selective. I do a TikTok show and speak with hundreds of audience members every week. I hear reoccurring dating themes from women between the ages of 25 and 45. They prefer men who are emotionally available, good communicators, and share similar values. So a lot of women were also saying to me in the comments that you didn't read it. As you can see in the in the research or the article, it said that women want people who are emotionally available, good communicators and share similar values, which I think is extremely important that women do want that. However, he is basing that off of anecdotal research. He's basing that off of his show, what he hears people say. And then I went to the Pew research. So in, in that article... It clearly states, it, it's talking about finances. It says that roughly seven in 10 adults say it is very important for a man to be able to support a family financially to be a good husband or partner. And what they also pointed out in the same uh, Pew study, blacks and Hispanics are more likely than whites to place a high level of importance on being able to financially support a family when it comes to being a good spouse or partner. The comment that I made in the shade room, like I said, I wasn't really satisfied with the research that was presented in the article. So I wanted to really dig more mm -hmm. into it. So what we decided to do was to go to the, the Journal of Marriage and Family. And for those of you who don't know what the Journal of Marriage and Family is, I'm gonna read it for you so you can understand that there's a difference in research. Like all research is not the same. Mm -hmm. So the Journal of Marriage and Family is published by the National Council on Family Relations and it's been the leading research journal in the family field for more than 75 years and is consistently the most high, highly cited journal in family science. Why that's important is this. In order to get published in the top family journal, it means your research has to be peer reviewed, which basically means that you do research you write about it in an article before it's published in this journal, they push it out to other psychologists, other um, sociologists, and they have to try to pick apart your article. Mm -hmm. They have to try to prove it wrong. And if they can't prove it wrong, if enough psychologists and sociologists approve it, then it gets published in the journal. That It's not the same case with the article that the person read. Like I said, it's anecdotal. And if you look at this article in the, the Journal of uh, Marriage and Family, it's called Mismatches in the Marriage Market. This study was done in 2019. The research the, uh, research that the article was based off was in 2017, which means this is more up to date. And its major findings was the fact that women women's educational levels now exceed men's implies that young women, by necessity, are less financially dependent on husbands then in the past, that educational um, has become more commonplace. Young women seemingly face shortages of demographically similar men to marry. 
they're not meeting the standards educationally. They're not meeting the standards financially. And this is from the number one research journal in marriage and family. The post 